a propaneless camper van that will allow you to boondock for days on end off battery power and clocks in at under 20 feet in length? You bet. We're reviewing a 2019 Road Trek SS Agile and we're starting right now. Hey there, Neil Balthaser here and welcome to Ultra Mobility Reviews the channel where you vote for the RVs that you want me to review each week. If you haven't voted yet, head on over to my community tab and start voting. A huge number of you have wanted me to review the SS Agile by Road Trek for some time now, and your recent voting has finally pushed it to the top of the list. Let's jump into this review, starting with exterior shots, where we're also going to talk about chassis specs and hookups. This is the short 144 inch wheelbase with a 3 liter V6 turbo diesel engine which delivers 188 horsepower and 325 foot pounds of torque in a 5 speed automatic transmission which means the Agile isn't going to have any problems getting up to speed or going up mountains. From just an aesthetic point of view this is one of the most automotive looking vans on the market today. Road Trek has gone the extra mile to clean up any RV giveaways like vents, access panels, and swoopy graphics. I appreciate the brushed aluminum trim. It's just very, very clean looking all around. Here I am sitting in the driver's seat and this is one of the benefits of the Sprinter chassis, driver comfort. I have the seat pushed all the way back and I'm 5'10 and have my arms fully extended to reach the steering wheel. Speaking of which, the steering wheel can both tilt and telescope. If you're a taller driver, you're going to be able to find a comfortable seating position on this coach. Moving along the driver's side, look how clean this side is. There are absolutely no vents whatsoever, and that's because this particular coach is upgraded to the Audi diesel heating system, which eliminates both the hot water heater access panel and any heating exhaust. The only access panel you have here is the outdoor shower located above the rear wheel. Hookups, however, are all located down low and that includes shore power and water. And that's the trade-off you're gonna have to make in order to keep this side of the van clear and free of access panels. Okay, let's head inside and see how this van is laid out and also go over dimensions and other specs. Here we see what it looks like as you walk into the van. Directly in front of us is the galley. In the back is the rear lounge slash sofa bed and directly to our left is the bathroom. The benefit of having the galley on the driver's side is that you get a wide open view from the front to the back along the driver's side and just a wall of windows letting the outside in when you first step in. It really does create a spectacularly open feel. Two things I want to point out. Road Trek's incredible six-year warranty, which is the best in the industry, and the price of this van as I'm reviewing it, $125,000. That's an incredible price considering that this van has about $18,000 worth of upgrades on it. The MSRP for this van as configured for this review is $148,000, so we're seeing a $23,000 discount right off the bat from this dealer. Let's talk about this galley. The first thing is, look at all that counter prep space. I've been in much larger vans, including some class B plus vans whose galleys don't have this much working space. And there's a rather large pullout extension that I'll show in a minute as well. This coach has been upgraded to the induction cooktop. Standard is a two burner propane stove. Below we have a convection microwave and I love convection microwaves because you basically get an electric oven for free. And to the left of the microwave you have a 3.1 cubic foot compressor refrigerator. And as we'll see in a minute, we have plenty of lithium and solar power to keep that compressor refrigerator powered up. Storage is a little bit tight. You do get a pull-out pantry there between the microwave and refrigerator. And Road Trek does its best to maximize all available space. So you've got three drawers across the counter. 
That center drawer is normally not there when there's a propane stove, so that's a bonus. And above, you've got two cabinets as well. Very happy to report that the cabinets are positive locking. That's something that you won't necessarily find on coaches that are twice this price. Let's take a closer look at this pull-out counter extension. It functions well as a counter extension, but I found it a bit flimsy as an actual table for the cab seats. As you can see here, that wooden arm that swings out to support the top isn't very secure. Let's have a quick look at the dimensions and then talk about the electrical system. That length of 19 feet 5 inches means you're not going to have any problems parking this van in any standard parking space. And the interior height of 6 feet 3 inches is measured to the bottom of the rear air conditioning unit. So plenty of headroom here, especially considering there's no step ups to reduce interior standing height. Okay, let's talk about this very capable and upgraded electrical system. Standard, you get two six volt lead acid batteries with 2400 watts of capacity and a generous two and a half kilowatt inverter. You get no generator and no solar, so the standard setup is a bit lacking. You can upgrade to a 2.5 kilowatt LP generator for 4K, but the big news here is that you can also opt for the 400 amp hour lithium upgrade. That's 4,800 watt hours for $5,100, an underhood generator for 3,200, volt start for 1,900, and up to 300 watts of solar for 3,600, all of which has been optioned on this coach that we're reviewing. So again, this coach for 125,000 has a very capable electrical system. Okay, let's head on into the rear lounge slash bedroom, where we're also going to talk about the bathroom and some standout features. As a lounge, this one works great. The sofa electrically reclines. You've got ottomans for kicking up your feet. It's bright and airy with windows all the way around, and both sides of the windows feature awning-style windows that open for cross-ventilation. There's an optional 24-inch LCD TV back here. A couple things to note, however, are that the TV's armature is not positive locking, unfortunately. That means the screw lock can have a tendency to vibrate loose while driving down the road, and then the TV will start to fly about. And the ottoman cushions are not attached as well in any way, so they also have a tendency to fly about while driving down the road. On a positive note, I appreciate that Road Trek includes armrests for the coach, cup holders on either side, and a set of proper three-point seat belts back here. You've got plenty of overhead storage and a wardrobe closet over the passenger side ottoman. There's really not much to complain about in this lounge. Let's have a look at how this area performs as a bedroom. After you electrically recline the sofa, you can fill in the middle section and have one large 69 by 76 inch bed, or you can keep the middle section open and have a set of two twin beds. Keeping in mind that I'm 5'10", the twin on the driver's side is slightly longer at 76 inches. And you should note that there is a bit of an overhang from the kitchen counter over your feet, which you may kick at night. On the passenger side, the bed is two inches shorter at 74 inches, and again, you have that wardrobe closet above your feet, which you may find yourself kicking at night as well. Because the sofa uses memory foam and the ottomans do not, the firmness on this bed is a bit uneven and you're likely going to have to use a mattress topper to even things out. Let's have a quick peek at some standout features and options before taking a look at the bathroom. There are three big items here of interest. The first and second are the induction cooktop that when paired with the Audi diesel heat system means that this coach is propaneless. Third, for $9,000, you can upgrade the chassis to the 4x4 option. And keep in mind that this is the actual 4x4 chassis coming directly from Mercedes-Benz. Our final stops the bathroom where we're also going to see the tank sizes before I give you my final recommendation. The bathroom on the SS Agile is small, but keep in mind that we're in a coach that's only 19 feet in length. 
Here I am sitting on the toilet and I've got nothing scrunching my shoulders and except for that metal rack behind my head, I'm able to sit here just fine. Here I am standing and you can see that there's pretty good headroom. I'm 5'10 and there's a good four or five inches above the top of my head. While we're looking up there, take a look at the shower curtain track. Notice how it comes out to a kind of point? That's because the accordion style doors can be positioned in such a way as to give you extra elbow room when closed. It works really well, but the trade-off is that these types of doors do have a tendency to rattle when you're going down the road. As we swing the camera around, let's take a look at the tank sizes. Look at the size of the fresh water tank, 36 gallons. That's as large as some class B plus motorhomes. When you're boondocking, fresh water is generally your limiting factor. So it's great to see such a large tank on a van this size. So what's my final recommendation? Should you avoid the SS Agile, consider it, shortlist it, or buy it? Well, this is a first on ultra mobility. I think you should buy it. If you're in the market for a short camper van and you want energy independence and no propane, then this exact model that I reviewed is for you. Not only do you get a modern electrical system, but you get it, as we see here, for 125000 That's just an incredible price for a rig built on the Mercedes chassis. That also comes with an industry-leading six-year warranty. It seems like a no-brainer to me. Let me know if you agree in the comments section below, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little bell to be notified when new reviews like this are released. And if you want to support me and my channel, head on over to patreon.com slash ultramobility, where for as little as $5 a month, you can help me continue to create honest RV reviews. And there's no reason to feel guilty if you can't. Your watching is support enough. That about wraps it up. Thanks so much for watching Ultra Mobility Reviews, where you vote for the RVs that you want me to review. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.